The United States President Joe Biden is visiting Middle East and this is his first visit since mm -hmm. taking office as the president. And the trip comes in the wake of increased diplomacy between Israel and Arab nations and at a time when the White House wants to coax oil producers in the region to increase production. VOA's Jessica Stone reports from Washington. Hello from Washington. Well, yes, U.S. President Joe Biden on the ground in Israel and on his itinerary, a tour of a U.S. funded defense system which protects Israel from outside rocket attacks. During his visit, Biden is expected to announce a regional defense group, including Israel and Saudi Arabia, but he is not expected to announce restoration of diplomatic relations between Israel and Saudi Arabia. Still, analysts tell VOA that Crown Prince Salman is moving in that direction in hopes of diversifying his economy away from an over-reliance on oil production. We should note, of course, that U.S. intelligence says that Salman ordered the killing of a Washington Post columnist who figures heavily in U.S.-Saudi relations. Now, at the end of the week, Biden will be the first American president to fly directly from Israel to Saudi Arabia. National Security Council coordinator John Kirby tells my colleague Patsy Wiedekaswara that Washington supports a normalization of relations between Israel and the Arab world. Biden is expected to announce steps towards that goal over the weekend. Normalization is going to take some time. Uh, and clearly, these are sovereign decisions that nations have to make. We support the Abraham Accords. We want to see uh, normalization proceed. We, we think that a more integrated Israel in the region is better for the region, it's certainly better for uh, the Israeli people, certainly for uh, their uh, their Arab na neighbors, as well as our own national security interests. So, uh, but it's going to, that, that kind of process will take some time. Um, I think you'll see when uh, President Biden flies, uh, you know, from Israel right to Jeddah directly, uh, that is not a small thing. Mm -hmm. um, that is not something that we would have imagined could have happened not very long ago. So it's a, it, it's a, it, it's another example of how uh, there is a, a deeper integration between Israel and uh, and Israel's uh, Arab uh, neighbors, which, again, we think is better for the region. And one key issue that continues to bring Saudi Arabia together with Israel is a mutual interest in countering Iran's nuclear ambitions. As you know, those Iran nuclear talks have stalled, but analysts say a renewed diplomatic push by the Americans would be welcome.